Can you kind of elaborate a little bit on the, the elation of, of having a knockout like that, but then obviously feeling a, a bit bad by the damage it did? Yeah, like I said, uh, me and Brennan, we, we was hanging out a lot prior to this fight at all the other events. You know, his last victory over Saeed Awad, I, I was sat ringside with his girlfriend and his, his family and his coaches, and I was celebrating with him. So it was a, it was a, a difficult situation for me at first to, to fight him. And uh, to get a victory, it was kind of a mixed emotions. You know, the first two minutes were running around like a headless chicken and, you know, going crazy and that and then I look across and I, I see his girlfriend she's crying and you know it, it's it, it was hard um, I just hope that it's all right um, yeah how soon do you want to get back in there I know you called Rory McDonald out how soon can we expect you back as soon as possible you know if, if the fight's uh, right then I'll get back in there uh, as soon as the Bellator people want me in there um, I think there's a lot of interesting fights out there for me Rory McDonald being one of them um, the Douglas uh, Lima rematch I would love um, and whatever um, other marquee names I can get a hold of you know Ben Henderson and the like but you know yeah I can get back in there tomorrow if I had to, if I had to you know I'm fit I'm strong um, barring that I don't drink too much vodka tonight you know yeah I could be I'll be ready to fight tomorrow I think Rory is an ex extremely skillful and talented fighter you know um, the reason I'm calling him out is, is for that very reason, you know, he's come across from the, the other promotion. Um, his credentials, you know, speak for themselves. He's, he's a very tough guy and I like to test myself against uh, fighters like him. He has a huge name. I think it would be a, a huge fight for Bellator. And, and, you know, they're the kind of matchups I need to be in to be motivated um, for those dangerous type of fights.